In this video, we will look at an exam style question. You will find this on page 467 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. It is given that theta is an acute angle measured in degrees. Very important, acute. Okay. Such that, and there is the equation, 2 6 square theta plus 3 tan theta is equal to 22. Find the value of, and this is also tan theta, not theta, tan theta. Let's start. So note the question asks for the value of tan theta and not just theta. Okay. So I take that green statement and I start. Now, because I want to go to tan, I'm looking for, you can look on your formula sheet, for the identity 6 square theta. So 6 square theta is equal to tan square theta plus 1. And I substitute. Then I multiply, take everything to one side, and I factorize. This is a trinomial. Do you see? This group B, there's the 2, the 3. So it was 5 and 4. And then um, it was 2, 2 and 1. Let's see if it's working. 10 minus 4, no. So let's just move it around. 2 and 1. Okay, so let's see if this one works. This is 8 minus 5, and that will be 3. The biggest overcross gets, uh, this one is the biggest, a positive and a negative. And then it's tan. So it's 2 tan theta minus 5, and tan theta plus 4 equals 0. And then I uh, make this equation and this. So this is my one equation and this is my other equation. But due to this fact, acute angle. Now, if you think of the cost diagram, can I just take you to the cost diagram? Okay, there is the cost diagram. Now, in the cost diagram, there it's acute. What is tan there? Tan is there positive. Do you see? But if you look where is tan negative, tan will be negative here and tan will be negative here and that's not acute. So there it will be positive and there it will be positive but this is a reflex and the, this one is then the positive one is then the correct one. So I reject this one. Okay. And tan theta is equal to 5 over 2. And now, use an approximate formula to find the exact value of tan theta plus 135 degrees. Do you see it's compound angles? Okay, so I'm starting with compound angles. So it's, um, uh, again, look on your formula sheet for this identity. So it's tan theta plus tan 135, the second one. 1 minus tan theta multiplied tan 135. And then I'm taking out tan theta... And now, now this one, I make it acute angle. Now, can you recall? Can I just show you again? This is coming from chapter four. So, if I'm if I'm saying where is one three five? So one three five is there, and I must look at that angle. Let's just go for blue. So if it's one three five, so towards this it will be forty five. And what is tan in this quadrant? It's negative, and that's why it's negative tan. So what we did is we were writing it in chapter 4 like this. Can you recall? We would have said 180 minus 45 will give me that 135. And then because it's in that, and then it's negative 10, 45 degrees. And that, so I make it acute, I make it acute towards the x-axis, okay? And then, um, or the angle towards the x-axis, let's rather call it like that. And now I just multiply it in, and now I substitute. Now, don't forget, what is tan 45? Can you remember? And now, again, I, I use a lot of things here. Um, this is the isosceles triangle, special triangles. So it's one, okay, change the color. One, one, square root two. This is the 45. So tan, tan is going to be opposite over adjacent. So it's 1, but it's negative 1 due to that negative. Okay, the same here. And there I put the tan 40 from A. I put 5 over 2, 5 over 2. And I basically just simplify it on my calculator or without a calculator. It does not matter. There's the special triangle. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do 
Try now 26. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with um, try now 26. Let's start with number A. The angle alpha lies between 0 and 90. So it's almost like an acute angle. And it's such that there, so it's acute, uh, 2 tan square alpha plus 6 square alpha equals 5 minus 4 tan alpha. Show that. Oh, it's very nice. So they show you must arrive to this. And then they ask you exactly, find tan alpha. Okay, let's start. Let's copy it. So 2 tan square alpha plus 6 square alpha is equal to 5 minus 4 tan alpha. Okay, so now I'm going to start. Because they want everything in tan, I'm going to substitute there and I'm going to make use there, just as I did there with the yellow. So I'm going to substitute that identity. I want to get my pen correct. And then it's going to be tan square alpha plus 1 is equal to 5 minus 4 tan alpha. Okay, so I'm going to multiply that out. So 2 tan square alpha, okay, I'll just take the bracket away, plus tan square alpha plus 1 minus the 5 plus 4 tan alpha, and that's equal to 0. Okay, so that's like and that's like. So 2 plus 1, so it's going to be 3 tan square alpha. And this is going to be plus 4 and then minus 4. And that's exactly, show that, okay? But now, and hinge, so go on. Now I'm going to factorize. So if I factorize, this is also in group B, do you see, due to the negative, so 4, 4, 3. Now let's see if we find that. So it's 2 and 2 and 3 and 1. So this is 6 minus 2, that's 4. The biggest overgrowth gets a positive, that gets a negative. So it's going to be um, bracket 3 tan theta. Okay, minus 2, close the bracket, and alpha, alpha, plus 2. And that's equal, 0. Okay, and now I'm going to work out, so I have 3 tan is equal to 2, and tan alpha is equal to negative 2. So I'm going to have tan alpha is equal to 2 over 3, or tan alpha is negative 2. Now, I'm going to write reject. Why? Because where is tan? If I have my cos diagram, that's my cos diagram. Tan is going to be positive in the first one and in this one. Okay. And it's going to be negative in this one and this one. Now, due to the fact that they sit between 0 and 90, it's where tan. So, therefore... I can end by saying, and I always like to make it actually read, therefore, tan alpha is equal to 2 over 3. Okay, now, so find the value. Now I go on with number B. Let's start with number B. It's given that angle, okay, beta, is such that, and now it's cot, it's the alpha plus the beta, and that's equal to 6. Without using a calculator, find the exact value of cot beta. Okay. Now, first, I don't. I, I want first to work with the identities in terms of tan or sin or cos. I first have to take this to tan. So what I do basically is I uh, to make this tan, to make it tan alpha plus beta. I take the reciprocal. So if this is six, it's one over six. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to use my identity. Exactly. This is also exactly the identity here. Exactly this that I'm going. But now, it's just going to be alpha plus theta. So, I'm going to write on this side. And if I'm writing it, I'm going to say tan alpha plus tan theta, okay, and that's going to be 1 minus tan alpha tan theta, and that's equal to 1 over 6, okay. And then, now, now I can start, and, and I can, okay, before I, before I multiply over cross, I just want to see, I have tan of, do you see there? But let me just make it rather yellow. Okay, so I'm going to substitute this in here, because I have values here. I want to use whatever I can to make it more simple. So, in the place of this, I'm going to say 2 over 3 plus tan beta is equal to 1 minus, okay, and this is 2 over 3 tan beta, and that's 1 over 6. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply. Make it 1 term over 1 equals 1 over 1. So I'm going to get 6, 2 over 3, plus tan beta, okay, and then it's going to be 1 minus 2 over 3 tan beta, okay, and then I multiply out, put it over 1, so this is going to be 12 over 3, so it's going to be 4 plus 6 tan beta equals uh, okay, let's take it, uh, will we take it to one side? I think it will be good first to take everything to one side. And then, no, it's actually not a problem. We'll work out the same. I just want to get first rid of the fraction. And how can I get rid of the fraction? I put this over 1, put this over 1, put this. Now this is over 3. So to get rid of the fraction, I multiply with the LCM. So it's actually 3 over 1. Um, 3 over 1, 3 over 1, 3 over 1. So that will cancel out, but I will end up with, if I multiply this with 3, I'm going to end up with 12 plus 6 times 3 is going to be, um, it's just going to be saying 6 times 3, it's going to be 18, turn beta is equal to 3 and minus 2 tan beta. Okay, now I'm taking all the tan betas to one side and all the uh, others to the other side. So I have 18, this is like terms, grab the sign. 18 tan beta plus 2 tan beta and that's equal to 3 minus 12. So this is 20 tan beta, and 3 minus 12 is going to be negative 9. And then I divide 20, and I divide 20, so tan beta, oh sorry, move it up a little bit, tan beta is negative 9 over 20. So therefore, cot Theta is negative 20 over 9. And that is my final answer.